Welcome to Great Falls, Montana. We sure would have rather talked to you in person, but we live where you vacation, so we're out enjoying our community just like you should be. So strap in, we're going to show you around our town. This is North America's largest buffalo jump. You just shush yourself about head smashed in. Prior to colonization, this is where over 13 tribes would get their groceries and other stuff to live off of by driving herds of bison off the cliff. Now, it's a great place to learn about indigenous culture and get great views of the area. This here is the Great Falls. It's the first of five falls that made Lewis and Clark stop and take notice. Seriously, they spent the most time in any one location outside of winter camp here in Great Falls. It took them 32 days to figure out how to, and then portage the falls. You can see this one and three others still today. Granted, there are many Lewis and Clark interpretive centers across the 10 state trail, but ours contains the largest collection of the entire expedition. Just down from the Lewis and Clark Interpretive Center is Montana's most visited state park, where you will find the world's largest natural spring, the world's shortest river, and North America's longest river. The two are connected by a portion of 53 miles of River's Edge Trail System, which I'll talk about a bit more later. Oh, did you see that? Yep, it was a mermaid. It's so rare to see them out during the day as they're usually only available to be seen at the world famous Sip and Dip Lounge in the evenings. That guy capturing the moment, none other than our famed cowboy artist, Charlie Russell. Charlie's home, studio, and most intimate works of art are displayed throughout the CM Russell Museum complex. You'll even find the carriage that brought him to his final resting place at Highland Cemetery. Could we have any more art and culture? Why yes, yes we could. The Paris Gibson Square Museum of Art is home to all self-taught artists and they have my favorite permanent exhibit from Lee Steen. It's a room of stick people. Life-size, creative stick people. The symphony kicks off in the fall and runs through the winter. We also have the Newberry, downtown summer jam, and live music at nearly every local establishment that wants it. We have a festival that creates new murals every year, and you can enjoy them year round. And we blend our art with what all of Montana is known for, outdoor recreation. That 53 miles of River's Edge Trail I talked about earlier has 28 works of art on it. The trail is great for hiking, biking, scootering, and even moseying. That river that runs through Great Falls will lead you to fish and fun. It's also great for kayaking or floating. There's actually two rivers to double your pleasure. Both the Missouri and the Sun are here in Great Falls. This is where the first ever UFOs were recorded and is now where the Voyagers play and we've just scratched the surface of what there is in Great Falls. We haven't even mentioned our historic walking tours, our mining history, our events, Great Falls' premier parks, Gibson and the Electric City Water Park, Sluice Boxes State Park, the biking and hiking in the Little Belt Mountains, Montana's first ski hill, Benton Lake Wildlife Refuge, the Highwood Mountains, the Rocky Mountain Front, the Bob Marshall Wilderness Complex, the signature events, like the one where we become the Western art capital of the world every year in March. Spend some time listening to our podcast, We're No Damn Experts, or poking around our website, visit greatfallsmontana.org. You can always get information about what to do in Great Falls from our museums, our local businesses, the front desk staff at our hotels, and the hosts at our campgrounds. Great Falls is full of helpful folks. Thanks for being in Great Falls, Montana, and we'll see you soon.